Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. But there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit, like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Uh, feel free to stay as long as you'd like. You can visit the... Yo! So... <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. I'm sorry I ran away today. I just couldn't stand it. I'm serious. No more bounties until you get a jetpack from Mr. Keep. Hello. Hi, is this Slippo's Pizza? I want a pizza now! I want it right now! Do you get me? Not in 30 minutes or less or whatever. I need it instantaneous! And I know we have the tech for that. Why are you still delivering pizzas by foot? Just zap them to me! There's like 10 different ways you can do it by now. Portal door, warp base, anything. I don't care. Just get it to me right now! Wait. 
Never mind, I'm not hungry, bye. A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait, not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. May it fill your days with wonder. Jorb, now I know I hate to be pushy, but can you get your grubby hands off that phone and do some inventory before the end of the day? Not interested. Oh, well, you know, I told your mom I'd make sure you took this job seriously. That's nice, Pop. Come on, Jorb. You're embarrassing me in front of the customer. Oh, yeah? You think that's embarrassing? Hey, you, guess what? My dad over there won an award for having the world's smallest dick in space. Hey, come on now! It's true, too! I'm being 100% serious. He's still got the trophy. He keeps it in the back. Well, I happen to be very proud of my tiny little penis and the award I won for it. They even had to invent a new type of microscope to confirm the size. Uh, I got a great idea. Let's just leave the customer alone now, all right, Jorb? Forget I said anything. <laughs> You know, Jorb, I don't think you're very nice to me. Oh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Well, it's not fine for me. I'd like to see, just for one second, a little respect out of you for your father. You understand? Yeah, I understand you want that. But maybe you don't understand that I don't have to give it to you. Maybe you don't understand that you're not always gonna get exactly what you want. Boo-hoo. You just have to accept that not everyone is gonna like you. Sometimes that's a random schlieb on the street, other times it's me, your own offspring son, who hates your guts and tells everyone at school that you won the award for Galaxy Time. Great choice. Choice. Excellent. So, uh, how's that mother of yours, George? She's a match awesome. made in heaven! Wow, you bought something. I'm so impressed. Illegal concessions guy. I like to sell you illegal stuff over here. Illegal shit? This guy is talking my language. Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? I'm not mad. I'm just curious. Do we really look like your typical customers? Sure. Look, I have... Absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. 
but they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographics. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious Man, alien no. cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So. What? What's it gonna be? You want some alien cum or not? So, you really got a lot of people looking to buy alien cum, huh? I consider it policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me. I figure the less questions I ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum, the better. So, are you buying or nay? Look, I can't believe we're doing this, but let's have some cum. Whoa! Look at you! You want some alien cum? I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off for free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Blim City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Gun Shooters, a new episode of Gun Shooters. There's three of us and we all shoot guns at bad guys. I'm Jeffrey Gun Shooter. I'm Jerry, also Gun Shooter. And I'm Bob Gun Shooter. Jerry, Bob, and Je Jeffrey Gun Shooter. One of them is uh, Hyphen and Smith. And we're all here to just totally shoot our guns and hurt bad guys. Let me tell you, Jeffrey, I'm excited because I got a new gun I've been dying to try out. Can you show me? Um, no. It's actually not allowed to be on TV. The gun's not allowed to be on TV? Are we still recording? I just was telling you personally, I was excited. I didn't want to do this one for the show. This is off. We're off. Turn off the cameras. I, I just... Oh, wait, oh, let me turn off the camera. Yeah, it's just I feel like we used to do this off camera and it was more fun, but now that we made it our job, it just feels suffocating. <laughs> is this not a scripted show? Is this a reality show? This is a real. Okay. Yeah. No, that's good to know. It just feels like... My we used to do the gun shooting thing and it was uh, just the three brothers and brother-in-law or something. I don't know what... Now it's just like, oh, we got the sponsors giving us money, and you know, that feels nice because I like money, but I just don't like losing. Oh, you look like you're hungry for some food. Wink, wink. I can help. Wink, wink, wink. Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave.
You got it! Oh, good choice! That was a great transaction of food for money! Goodbye! <laughs> Being at the scene of that accident. <laughs> but frankly, I think it is uh, just an attack. All that damn time. Oh, you want me out again, do you? Let's do this, Bounty Hunter! Yo, Bounty Hunter, wanna do some perfectly legal business? I just want to say I didn't kidnap that alien baby. The trial wasn't publicized. It wasn't. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Kind of. That cheapskate Mister keeps making us wait till he gets it in stock. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? When he's right, he's right. Let's get a cat nap in. It's, uh, confirmed in the court of alien law, and uh, that's it. So. um... All right. And welcome back to Tammy and the T-Rex here on Human TV. I'm still your horrifying human host, Humandor, the human. Come on, it's fine. You deserve a rest. Form here. If not, then you'd better look away before we return to this chilling movie. Here's more Tammy and the T-Rex. <laughs>
Trust me, some shut I will do you good. You've been doing a lot of hard work. Could you tell me what your Michael Brockerton, please? Uh, uh, Just a minute, uh, please. Uh, Ooh, he's in intensive care. That's room 203 down the hall. Okay, thank you. Come on. Nice step, sister. Go upstairs and get some sleep. I want some privacy down here. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I'm, I, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Ah! Holy shit, this rules! Thank you. Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. And, and they made me run a full mile before we, we could start to shoot. Ah! This, oh, okay, so we have the best shock rods, the most powerful. Awful shock rods in them. Ah, that fucking shock you really bad. If you need to shock somebody or shock anyone else or shock yourself, if that's the thing, you, you, you gotta just come to us and like, ow, oh, god damn. Oh, oh, check out that landing, god damn. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. You sad sack flimborg boy toy. Fuck off, Gene, like you've even ever been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here. While well, you're off having fun, doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me. 
excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Tweak to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Tweak! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you! Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Your voice is so... Uh, you know, I appreciate you having my back, but, uh, maybe your sister's right. Or not. What do I care? Team Gene, baby! Hey, are we cool? You were kind of coming at me pretty hard during that argument. And just remember, like, we're siblings, right? And you're all I've got left right now. And Gene's a piece of shit. Oh, hey, another girl on the team. Good. Actually, I mean it. I'm not being snarky. That's so nice to see. Yeah, yeah, don't get too excited. We're not even the same species. I'm okay. Sorry we roped you into another argument. I want you to meet Tweeg, by the way. I really think you'd like him. He's really nice to me and, well, he's helping me feel a little more normal. Even though his body doesn't make any fucking sense to me and he keeps trying to take me to restaurants that don't serve anything edible to humans, but... No, he's really sweet. So don't worry about me. You can focus on killing the space mafia or whatever. A moplet! It's you! The savior! Exactly, yep. Now tell us stuff. Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Don't really care. But just to be polite, where are they? They're working at Screndel Labs now. Just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Cool. Again, don't really care. You know, your holster's not as much fun as you might think. Ready, willing, and 
I don't care, I just want to stab it. Delarmo Prime. Good, this is the right path. If it isn't, I'll freak out. Hey, blast that pesky sucker.
ever come off a little mean, just know I'm sorry. That's not my intention. I want to come off as very mean. Galleons like me that can slow down time. It's pretty rare, so you should cherish me even more than you already do. Forms, just one sec. You really want to wait and listen to this guy's shit? Come on, just open the door yourselves. Oh, I bet you're dying to launch yourself off those things, you freak. You good, bounty hunter? Zipline to cross? How's it going? So what? We're going to some big science labs like a field trip? Why does this feel like we're going on a field trip? I don't like these vibes. We're here to kill. We're here to maim some G3 dirtbags. If you see any signs here, ignore it. Just focus on the killing.
Hello, and welcome to Scranda Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. Great, more bullshit. Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> We really appreciated that. But sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're gonna set off the alarm? Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3, California. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. I am a simple mob, but they pay me to tell them when intruders show up, so I do it. Elevators on, enemies coming. You win some, you lose some. That's right, we're trespassing. But that, that's not my fault.
if you want, you can go check out all the nerdy science shit. I can tell you want to. I see your nerd eyes darting all over the place, so go look. Go on. Hello, Johnson. It's Dr. Gurgill. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. It's only a small portion, and I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmanchu as I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. I'm busy. I don't trust this fucking gurgle of creep. on me and fucked me up real bad in basically every way you can imagine. Holy shit, am I glad to see another Catlian alive in here? Uh, are there any others? Oh my god, yes! There's so many! Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no! These fucking G3 bastards! Creature, we're taking on the cartel. You want in? Oh, no, no, no. They take good care of me. Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Say it out loud. I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah. Welcome aboard, uh, creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in. But that's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. That's one of my children. They die fast. Don't worry. It's easy. Ah, beautiful. Look how one of my little fuckers just saved us. Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually. But I'm numb to it. They grow so fast, then they die. It's pretty rough being a dad. Do not recommend it. Time for me to shine! Oh, sorry to speak up without asking, it's just you should use me here. This is our best human Fergal hybrid specimen. It may not be as cool as our subject in the weapons lab, but it's still rather beautiful, isn't it? We call it a fur man, or, or maybe a hurdle. I don't, we haven't decided yet. Why am I telling you all this? You know, to be honest, it's because you look cool and a little bit badass, to be frank. It's good. It's a good experiment that I think is actually just a dead human with a fergal on top. Who's the scientist here, me or you, huh? Would you like to do the honors? We're going to try to show up those cocky nerds in the weapons lab by fusing this human with some other aliens. Just hit the button. You're, you're okay with letting us help? Look, I can do it myself if you don't want to. I'm just trying to be nice.
I'm gonna not shoot them if that's okay. supposed to happen. Okay, that looked bad. Still looked a little safer than most of the shit they did to me. Ah, who are these cute critters? How are things going? Alright, we're in! How was that? Was that helpful? Was it helpful that I gave birth to a lot of tiny guys really fast? Hey, is this gonna hurt? Is this gonna hurt getting a weapon grafted to my arm? You're gonna graft a galleon to my arm, and that's gonna be permanent? Is that right? Because I'm, I'm obviously down to do it. I'm just a little scared that it's gonna hurt a lot and that I'm also gonna regret not being able to use my hand in the normal way. Can you do my right arm? I'm left-handed, so if you do my right arm, I'll still be able to write. Oh, you know what I'm thinking, though? It's actually gonna be a because I... Frenzy. Did I tell you they can do that? They can. Oh, oh! If you keep piling my kids on top of a guy, they can do mind control shit. They can make a bad guy fight for us. Ah, oh, shit. That mind control thing doesn't last very long. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make it last longer, but they're shitheads. They do... Listen. Especially bad experiments on me. I think. What the hell, man? Your cookie will defend himself. You're absolutely right. We just hate the G3. I'm disgusted right now. Those are my people getting strapped to your arm. How can you live with yourself, man? You think I'm an answer to what, kids? <laughs> I'd be so shooting right now if I wasn't strapped to this operating table. It's sad seeing all these brain-dead Gatlians. <laughs> 